Friends and family, this video started out one way and ended up completely differently. I wanted to compare my Fenty, my newly purchased Fenty um, foundation with my existing foundation. I was going to put one on one side of my face and put one on the other side. But a mishap happened and I thank God for that because that showed me what I should never ever do ever again. So if you're interested in what that is, stay tuned. So I was on the praise team this weekend. I was getting ready to go to church. So I decided, let me try out my new Fenty Beauty foundation. So I was going to put the Fenty, Fenty foundation on one half of my face. And then on the other half, I was going to put my tried and true Milani two-in-one um, foundation with concealer. And there's my new beauty blender that I had just purchased and it's con container. So let me open my Fenty Beauty and let's start. And yes, I broke the top off at least I thought I had. I had that product everywhere. Do you hear me? It was on the floor, it was on my clothes, and yes, I was not happy about it all over my hands. Look at that. So I decided, okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'll apply what's on my hand on my face. <clears throat> and when I'm done with that, I will go ahead and, you know, just put my clothes in the washing machine and dry them real quickly, and then I can wear them to church and everything is going to be fine so here i am i'm blending this thing in my face and i'm thinking to myself this thing looks a little lighter than it should be first of all it looks too light for my skin secondly it looks pasty but this is what you know the sephora beauty experts had selected for me and i had seen that other people trying out you know the fenty foundation were saying that oh it seemed light at first but eventually it warmed up to their skin tone and then it was perfect so i assumed that was going to happen with me so i just continued to apply it you know cautiously so I am applying this thing and thinking to myself, okay, I need to hurry up and get myself ready for church. So I took off the clothes, I put it in the washing machine, and then I realized I had stained my skin. Look at the Fenty Beauty, the spots that were through the clothes. It went through the net, it went through my t-shirt, and then into my arm. I could not get it out. But I'm like, you know what, that's my skin, it's going to be covered by clothes. I got to move on, I got things to do. So... I decided, you know what, I don't have time at this point to put Milani on the other half of my face. I'm just going to continue to use the Fenty and continue to look pasty and a little lighter than I should be. So I just continued to do that while my clothes were in the washing machine. And when they were done, I went and took them out and realized, nope, I can't wear them. So uh, they still have the stains. So I had to pick a different outfit to wear. So when I came back, from church that day I decided okay let me get these stains out and as you can see right there that's the net that I was wearing the stains are still in it even though it had been in the washing machine in heavy-duty washing for an hour and here are the stains in the t-shirt to me that's unacceptable I have just washed it in the washing machine so I decided okay, I'm gonna try other things so I also went ahead and applied the stain remover and washed it again same thing nothing happened so i decided in that case let me try and use coconut oil i use coconut oil to remove my makeup especially when i have a lot of makeup on and if i put layers and layers i use coconut oil to get that makeup off because it's the best i mean it it has an oil pulling you know uh quality where it it actually sucks out toxins and everything from your skin so let me try in my clothes so i did i soaked it for about 10 minutes and look there do you see the product coming out of my t-shirt insane insane i did this several times and then after that i put it in the washing machine again it came out it still had you know the stains in it it was lighter of course but not you know as bad as before but still the stains were there so i decided okay i'm gonna go ahead and hand wash it so I did that and let me tell you, the stains were still showing in the clothes afterwards. If you see, as I'm washing it, I'll bring the camera closer. I'm going to zoom in and you're going to see in the sink that the color, you know, of the product is still coming out. Now, just so you know, the t-shirt have worn it many, many times. The color doesn't bleed. So this color you're seeing is not from the t-shirt color. It is actually from the Fenty foundation that stained the t-shirt 
I was just appalled. I'm like, this is about the fourth time I'm watching this thing, okay? But anyway, after this, it definitely looked better. And um, as you can see, you can barely tell that the spots are still there. So I did the coconut oil application one more time, and then I was good. I put it in the washing machine, and I was set. And I had to do the same thing to the net that I was wearing on top of that, because that was stained as well. So I just wanted to kind of level set and let you guys know how long it took me to get the stains out of the clothes. It took at least six washes using, and that's the picture of you know what it looked like after I had finished washing it with my hand and then going to the um, washing machine. This is one of the other things that I tried. I tried a makeup remover. That did nothing. That just did absolutely nothing. I'm trying to tell you all, use coconut oil to take off your makeup. Friends and family, in conclusion, I just wanted you to just think about a couple of things, okay? The Fenty Beauty product, right, the foundation, you use it, you know, people are talking about at first it looks like it's not exactly it and then somehow when it warms up, they say, then it actually looks like it's your skin, it's like a second skin. Now I understand why, because when it oxidizes, it actually sinks into your skin, blends with it. That's what happened in my arm. The three drops that went through my clothing onto my skin right here. It took me so long to get that crap off. So my conclusion about that <laughs> is that I'm, you know, it's wonderful that we all want our skin to look fantabulous and everything, but at what expense? You know what I mean? These products, we know all of them, have some level of chemicals in them that's deep into our skin. You know, you saw how hard it was to get it out of my clothing. It's stained. So if it's staining your clothing, you saw me scrubbing my skin, like with my nails, trying to get it out of my skin. So I'm just trying to say a word of caution, you know, word, is it a word to the wise that's enough, whatever they call it? It's just to be careful when you're using this product. I would advise when it's time to take it off your skin, detoxify. There are several products out there that will suck crap out of your skin. Do that. I know we all want to be beautiful, but we have to be careful so that we don't damage the skin that we're trying to make more beautiful. You know what I mean? So that's just all I wanted you guys to know that Fenty will stain your skin and your clothes. And to me, that's a word of caution. So no Fenty Beauty for me. So I'm trying to work on my actual skin. But in the meantime, when I do put on makeup, it won't be any Fenty product because I was disappointed and shocked and appalled by what happened. So I just wanted to share that with you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to come back for another video, okay? All right, stay blessed.